You know who's in Bagram right now? China. They're going to take it over. They're in no, they're fucking not. Oh, hey, hey. Um, while, uh, you know, we, we talked many times about how one of the things our presence in Afghanistan, uh, what it did to serve the Russians and the Chinese was to keep all the people there busy shooting at us so that China and Russia could do all kinds of bullshit in the Middle East and in Africa, especially, um, and especially stuff that involved scooping up large groups of Muslims and murdering them. And now that we're gone, Russia and China are all pissed because these folks are now turning their attention on them. Now, um, during the tr time Trump was in office, um, uh, the Chinese started to, like, you know, and everybody knows he, there was this whole big thing about how he was like, Obama bowed to the Saudis and then he went and did the exact same thing. And, and uh, Biden hasn't done that, if you haven't noticed. There's no, I mean, obviously COVID helps you kind of go past, dude, but that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen now. At no point. Just get used to the idea. Biden's not going to go over there and like tip his head to this prick. It's not going to happen. Uh, nobody thinks it's going to happen. There, nobody in the State Department thinks it's going to happen. Even though we're trying to balance our relationship with the UAE and the Saudis, not going to happen. But meanwhile, uh, did you guys see this? Anybody? I mean, they, like CNN like, put it on their main page, but I haven't heard this talked about on the news pretty much at all. Wall Street Journal just did a report on this. Um, the Chinese have been building a secret base, um, in the, uh, port of Khalif in the UAE, in their capital. And our military, our spy satellites discovered that the fact that they were building it, they were basically besides the port, they were clearing a bunch of fucking ground and they were covering it with like, with tarps essentially. And then bit like digging foundations, like deep foundations for secure military sites. Out next to the port. Basically establishing a military base. And we spotted it. They've been doing this shit for... This, this apparently has been going on for about two years. And the Biden administration saw it. U.S. Secret Service agents... Uh, agencies had found evidence of construction this year and U.S. warned UAE that the presence of the Chinese military could threaten ties with them. So um, they told them to fuck off. The project was canceled. They lost the port. By the way, did you, did you hear that story about how um, after the AUKUS agreement, the Australians just uh, also got rid of? Here, let me find that one as well. Just got rid of, uh, let's see, Australians cancel Chinese port deal and whatever it'll be in there somewhere like that <clears throat> um let's see uh i'll find the newest one october the in a dark over potential move um origin of the, the port darwin deal where is it yeah so um and this is, old, this is older, the story. This is May. Um, Australia reviews port uh, lease near U.S. military outpost. Um, they're, they're building uh, bridges for them. They had a deal to do these bridges. And they canceled it. They just canceled this deal. They were reviewing it in May. They started because the, the Biden administration started talking to them about it. The AUKUS agreement led to that. And they kicked them the fuck out. And this kind of thing. Um, yeah, here it is. Work on Chinese military base in UAE abandoned after U.S. intervened. Satellite images reportedly detect construction of a secret facility at Khalifa Port amid growing U.S.-China rivalry. Fucking, they were building a military outpost on UAE ground without telling the UAE. Now, where uh, is the UAE lying about it and saying, no, we weren't going to let them do that? I have a hard time believing that the UAE is... Uh, considering their feelings about their own value and world dominance are just going to let the Chinese build a military base there. No fucking way. They're fighting over other stuff. They're fighting over, uh, you know, uh, Muslim traffic in Africa and all kinds of other stuff. So they've got, they've got differences with China that would make me think there's no reason why they would do this. 
allow them to do this. So this was not known to them. That's what they say, and, and I, I, I don't think there's any reason not to believe them. The Biden administration held urgent talks with UAE authorities who appear to be unaware of the military activities, according to the report. It said the discussions included two direct conversations between Joe Biden and Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed uh, Al Nayan in May and in August. In late September, the U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and White House Middle East uh, Coordinator Brett McGurk went to the UAE and presented the details of the U.S. intelligence on the site uh, um, to the Emirati authorities with McGurk returning this week to meet the crown prince. After U.S. officials recently inspected the Khalifa site, construction work was suspended, the report said. This shit was going on while Trump was making his deal, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do his version of the January. Yes, I will at some point, Rose, but I'm not going to pay for it. I'm going to wait till somebody posts it on YouTube. Yeah. D By the way, this fucker supposedly had a great relationship with the Saudis. Xi Jinping had a great relationship, right? Both these people had no fucking idea that this was happening. Didn't even bother to look. 